Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how I do my 3D flowers. Yes, my techniques may help some people out there, but if not, I hope you guys still enjoy the video. Don't forget while you're here to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel guys. I need the love, all the love I can get. But without any further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so the first flower I'm going to do, you want to get a bead that's wet enough and you wanna sharpen the outer edge while pressing down in the center. I'm gonna do it again so you guys can kinda see. Once I place the bead down, see I'm pressing down in the middle, waiting for the monomer to dry of course. And then you see how I'm sharpening the outer edge. You can shape it. with the end of your brush to get that sharpness and for those side petals all you have to do is place the bead down you don't need to bring the outer edge into a point keep it rounded press down in the middle and it will all come together i promise you guys it will all come together on this one i think i probably should have did two because i didn't give myself enough space but it's all good because you can make it work with little embellishments. You'll be shocked like how, how your 3D flower can come out looking. Um, see, I'm just making a circle. You don't wanna really do, you. Ugh, I can't talk guys. You don't really want to do like big um, side petals. Here I'm adding the embellishments. If you guys got any questions also uh, that I'm not answering, on here because I might not know or forgot to say something leave a comment because I do respond back so if you guys um, have any questions make sure that you do leave a comment or if you have any suggestions on how I can do three flowers easier and better I am open to all of it so yes here I'm just adding embellishments um, like I was telling you guys, uh, I feel like I kind of didn't do as good as I could have on this one, but I feel like the embellishments just made it all come together. And so you can do the same thing just like I did. You don't have to start over. Here I'm going to just be doing the rounded petals. These are the most easiest, friendliest ones, um, beginner friendly, I should say, um, because all you're literally doing is pressing down on the rounded bead at the beginning of where it starts towards your embellishment, usually like a rhinestone. And you just go all the way around the flower with it. Sometimes you can kind of move them close and overlap them to get like more of a 3D effect, um, to give it more texture, I should say. But you see how I'm just literally placing down a bead and pressing in the middle. Don't overthink this guys because if you overthink it, you'll be starting over like a million times. Just don't think about it. Just do it. Press the bead down and in the center and just keep it moving. It'll all come together. Right here, I am kind of doing a different flower. This is a clear example of keep going after you feel like even if you messed up you can make it work because at one point I don't know what I was doing with this I know I wanted to show you guys like how to do different flowers but I probably wasn't trying to do this but I made it work anyway and it still came out pretty decent um in my opinion um there it goes right there so it, was, it didn't look too bad you know in this last one, I'm just doing simple petals on this one. See guys, it's really not that hard. Um, I didn't do them in any particular order, but I just wanted to show you guys like the different types. But like I said, comment below and thanks for watching.